Today, we're doing the dreaded bird box challenge. Jay, I am impressed that you're going for this. I'm Steve, not gonna lie. I am going to say right out of the gate that you're, you're, you're basically, you and everybody else here, that you're getting me to do this video kind of kicking and screaming. So <laughs> You're a good sport. Here it is. I have no idea how this is gonna go. Um, and I'll say, if you don't know what the bird box challenge is, if you haven't seen bird box yet, if you're one of, I don't know, the six people that haven't seen it yet, mm -hmm. you need to go watch it, it's fantastic. Yes. This is the heads up show where we talk about helmets and face masks and all the stuff that goes on the helmets and we build them. And today we are going to be building a Dallas Cowboys helmet blindfolded to see how I do, but we're doing this one exactly pretty much the same way we would do it. Like we've already got clips and the visor on the face mask, which we usually do. We've already put the buckles on the chin strap, which we already do. So I'm gonna try, we're gonna pull everything out of our own little bird box. This is a bird box. There you go, thing. man. Yep. And we're gonna see if I know what's what. Um, and you know, we're, I'm not gonna say that we're cheating, Steve, but we've put some things in here that are gonna hopefully make this a little bit easier for me. So we're starting with a Riddell Speed Youth Helmet. See here. So we got a face mask here. I know there's a visor on here. This is definitely a Shock 1.0 visor. I don't know what color it is. Um, but, and this is obviously a big grill and I can see here. Yep, this is a lightweight. So this is the SQBDC HTLW face mask. Uh, this one's gonna be great. I requested this in white. Is this white, Steve? It's white. And we chose white because, well, why not? Yeah. We want to see what it looks like. And That's we're right. Kind of, we were always kind of talked about, say, hey, what is this going to look like anyway? Not sure. This is, should be a sports star. Yep. I don't know if I'm going to be able to figure out which way is up or down. I think this is going to be like that. So I'll see if I can remember that. And this is what looks, appears to be a uh, sports star victory. T-Rex, Hurricane. And this is gonna be a, let's see here. Yep, I got the little, uh, you got four little holes here, right, Steve? Yep, that's Which right. makes this an XD. He's good, and man. We got buckles on here that should be white. It's all the way here. All right, now we got some decals. I'm turning on the stopwatch here. Let's, I'm just curious to see how long it takes you. Okay, so are we, are we ready? We're ready. Let's get the 3D bumper out of the way. That, actually, no, I gotta do the stripes first, Steve. I would suggest doing the stripes what first. Am I, what am I thinking? So, I know that we have three stripes. And Steve, the blue and the white stripes, the two blue stripes should be about the same as far as what's on the ends here. So I'm gonna say, this is definitely a blue one. And here's our other blue one. So this is going to be our white stripe. Are you going to tell me that I'm right or wrong along the way, Steve? <laughs> or are you going to let me... Uh, well, I'm going to let you do you, your thing, man. Are you let me yeah, sink? Yeah, I don't think it would be fair to fill you in. Okay, so typically what I would do when I'm putting on a stripe is I would line the stripe up by... There's a, there's a, there's a line that goes down... The, the center of all of the helmets where the two halves are kind of put together in the molding process. I'm obviously not gonna be able to see that. You can feel it a little bit, but really only I would go by is gonna be these guys right here, which are uh, kind of the holes of where the needle might go. Yeah. And I'm gonna have to kind of guess here between, I'm gonna kind of stick this guy underneath here. I'm gonna have to kind of get a guess where the center is. So hopefully we get Close. The center's in right here. I had to, we had to bring in Tomas. Let, let, let's introduce Tomas. Come up here, here, Tom. This is Tomas. Yeah. So. Hey, Tomas. How's it going? Yeah. Thanks. Tomas thanks, said. Thanks, thanks, you're, uh, thanks for doing this. Doing pretty well so far. So I'm gonna go <laughs> with. So Tomas, this was your idea. So we are going to let you critique Jay. Um, to see if this is as good as you thought it would be. This is, the, to me, this is probably going to be the most important part of the whole thing. I guess this put the star's placement is going to be critical, but this is, I'm just going to have to kind of take a spot and get it, stick with it. I'm going to go right there. Typically, you know, anyone who's watched our regular builds knows that I know that I put the stripes on and off all the time to get them just perfect. And then I'm gonna take these 
and just tuck them in the back. There we go. At least it's, I think it's in the right spot in the back. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, that was, that was pretty right on. Well, good, because the next ones should go easier. This isn't easy. So much pressure. It's, it's hard enough. Pressure. Cameras on. Camera's on. Jay doesn't care. Cool. Jay's got Jay's got ice cool in his veins. You know. He's, he's a good. He used to call me the Ice Man. <laughs> Not because of the ice in my veins. It's more just because I liked it cold. Oh, I guess we should mention because people are going to ask. So, Jay is blindfolded with a Dream Maker bandana. Yes. So this is, uh, so DreamMaker is a brand that one of our employees, you may, if you're an old time viewer, is Darius. He started his own brand kind of like a couple of years ago. He sells a pretty decent amount of t-shirts and hats and sweatshirts and stuff. So he's got this whole DreamMaker brand. So if you like the bandana, you want to go check it out. See, can you, can you put the, his uh, Instagram page below? I will do my best. I think if you see something you like, you just kind of have to send him a DM and he'll, he'll, he'll kind of do it that way. He doesn't have a storefront or anything. You know how the kids are doing these days, Steve. Yeah, who needs a storefront? This is where it gets difficult. I'm just gonna need that guy like that. I'll go with that. Let's get the other stripe. Yep. So if, if, if this is somebody's uh, first time checking in with us, Welcome, thank you for watching. I guess we'll take this time to do a shout out to uh, some of the other creators that we work with a lot. Um, there's, you know, Verone Devine and Jacob McDonald, and I know football and uh, lineman football. There, there's some really great other YouTubers out there doing. QBHD. QBHD, that's right, uh, Adventure Athlete. Um, you know, if, you, if you're digging some of this show, you'll probably certainly like some of what they have. Yeah, it's an interesting little uh, football community, I guess, I would, I would call it. So when I put stripes on sighted, Steve, I'm actually feeling the seam mm -hmm. to line the outside stripes up to go right up against the inside stripe anyway. So I feel like I'm doing this right. I'll throw a challenge out there to all the equipment oh, managers go. who watch the show is let's see your your best uh, helmet build bird box style. That would be interesting, huh? Oh, that's a great idea. And if you do do one, Steve, you're right here. <laughs> right. Uh, Somewhere there. Give us there give you. us give us a shout out and let us know. Tag us or something so we can get a chuckle. Could be a little bit better, I think, but. You know, let's see. If I'm gonna cut them. No. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> now he's just showing off. Even. Good enough. Okay. So that's now. Okay. So now we need some bumpers. Let's do the front. Oh, no. Let's do the rear bumper first. Now let's do the rear bumper. Do you have the rear bumper? Can I just put it right up here? Uh, you're close. Close. Cold. You're warm. Warmer. Uh, Tomas, warmer? help him out here. Warm. There, right you, there, there you go. Here there the whole time. Damn. <laughs> That's not right. Do the okay. I've messed up my decals a little bit here. That one. There we go. So this is going to be. Be the NFL logo. 
Okay. Yeah. You're good. I feel like that's crooked, but it's not gonna get any better. Um, no, man, I don't know, actually. Let's go take a quick candor. Now I am looking for... <laughs> it's really <laughs> not bad, man. The embossed tech flag, if you guys were paying super close attention during the national championship game, you'll see the embossed tech flags on all of the Clemson helmets. Such a nice step up. Really nice quality flag. We still need to do, I guess we got to do the stars next. You know sure. I'm going to do the stars last. Front bumper. Two because strings. that's going to be the part that, you know, I put this down to make sure I knew which way was up and then I forgot. So, let's see. Z, a little Z. Or I might have to just guess. Throw this on. That'll let us get the face mask on. I'm going to finish up with the stars last. Okay. I wonder how the face mask is going to go. I mean, the clips are on. We couldn't torch you that bad. That's why I couldn't get that damn front bumper off very easily. I was wondering why I was fighting with it so much. Yep. Steve, did you um, tape the nuts? I didn't, because these have all the padding and stuff, right? Yeah, this might still be a little bit of a bitch. Super Bowl prediction? Oh, Super Bowl prediction? Man. Maybe? I... I... I it's tough. I really almost hate doing that right now because it's uh, it could go so. I know, like. What's your gun? Uh, Saints. Saints. What you looking for? Oh. <laughs> what do you need? The face. The face mask. Uh, oh. Did I move it over here? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't imagine what he was doing. Should put some adhesive on the back of this bumper to keep it on. That would have made life easy. Yeah, but it would have been too thick, and then it would have been a bitch to keep on. Yeah, the only thing I can tell you is that I just feel like, um, Saints. It would be the time for to breathe, for Breeze to, you know, it'd be a great way to finish off a career. Yeah. If it, you know. I you don't, say, are you saying that Breeze's career is over? I'm not going to say that. Wow. But, but in case it is. What a great way to go out. After all this year of records. Yeah. Um, I don't ER think the, the Patriots year. really, I just don't see that. Uh, maybe um, the uh, Colts, if they can get past the Chiefs, they have a shot. But I don't think that's going to happen. The Colts are on fire, man. They are on fire. Which I was, I'll be the first to admit, in the beginning of the season, I was like, eh, Andrew Luck's done. Yeah, no way. No shot. But they've been, they've been getting it done. Hold that for me. I thought that it was going to be. It's because this um, bumper wants to fall off. I'm not surprised it's coming out at the level that it is coming out at, um, but I really expected there to be some kind of blatant errors. Well, right? that's, that's, that's for the stars, right? Maybe. We thought we thought the stripes were really going to be all over right. the place. Well, pretty proud I got, I got screwing. Quick release tool. Oh, um, look right here. We we really didn't mess with you on that. Oh, it fell. Hey, I'll get it for you. Twenty-five minutes and what? Ten seconds. Yeah. So that's now. Really not bad. And I think 
we're getting close. Okay, so as I've say in every single one of our helmet build videos, the way to put a decal on, which I'll just go here, is you want to take the brow of the helmet here, or the face mask, and use this as our line to kind of create a horizon line. So this actually, in theory, should be relatively easy because I have a line here on the star, and I have a line here. There you go. Great. <laughs> <laughs> it's too uh, it's low. It's not. It's not terrible. <laughs> Use the force. Okay. Yeah. You know about that. I know all about that. Be the decal. Be the decal. Now I need to figure out which is the top of this somehow. And don't forget, you can't touch it. This would make my day if this is upside down. I think at <laughs> this point it would make my day if it was right, because that's insane. Nice. Well, I'm just going with this, because there's not really any way for me to know. So it's either going to be right side up or upside down. Well, you sure? Yes. OK. <laughs> All right. I've had it. I mean, <laughs> there we go. I guess that's it then, right? I think that's it. And we have 31 minutes, 10 seconds. Style and the way that you did it, I'm going to give you a nine, man. This was hard. So I guess let us know below what you think, how this went. Was this even entertaining in the slightest? I don't know. <laughs> I, I got to see this, Steve, to get my, get my reaction. Oh, my God. <laughs> Damn. Well, yeah, the stars are low. Yeah. Not, stars are, it's, uh, it's not bad. Back bumper is pretty awful. I'm going to have to fix that. That's, <laughs> the that's funny part is, Jay, it's better than some of the stuff we see online. And I'll tell you what, my pupils are like this big. Right? <laughs> they're, not, they're not wanting to adjust. It's yeah. a, bird box challenge. I guess go watch bird box there or, or don't. <laughs> I don't think it's going to much matter. Let us know how you like this video. Uh, we are not doing another one of these, but I am interested to see if anybody else out there, especially equipment managers at some of the colleges, uh, I mean, you, you, you're you putting on hundreds of decals, your own decals. How would yours turn out? See if you can beat Jay. Tag us. Yeah, what was it? 27 minutes? 28 minutes? Uh, 31 minutes. Okay, yeah. I'm just trying to cheat a little bit. Yeah, <laughs> sure, Shop 27 10%. plus 4. Like, subscribe, click the notification bell if you want to see more videos like this. Really enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Until next time, cheers. Cheers. cheers.